full of gamers and I'm playing Borderlands 3. Now I hadn't, hadn't actually planned on doing a video on this game but um, I've discovered something and uh, I thought it uh, that I should do a video on this subject and it is regarding but stallions milk. Now I've seen a lot of people doing videos and they're actually using but stallions milk incorrectly so let's actually go to where you uh you get but stallions milk and i'll show you just in case you don't know how to get it so we have to come to um to here and you see the um, arcade machine borderland science And to actually get Butt Stanion's milk, you actually have to uh, buy a booster. As you can see, it is there and it's 1,500, I don't know what you'd call them, credits maybe. But uh, to get it, you have to play this little mini game. And uh, by playing this game, you're actually helping out real world science. So I urge you to, uh, to try it and uh, give it a go. As you can see, there's various levels of the game and uh, once you get to level nine the true tannis where you should be you get a load of these credits for each game usually one and a half thousand to say two and a half thousand and the idea of the game is you can see there's lots of different icons for four different ones in total and what you have to do is you have to match all the icons on a line to the the two icons that are on the far left And you can only move up one tile at uh, you know one tile at a time but you can actually uh, remove those tiles as well as you can see now i've hit the target score but i've still got tiles left to use so so we might as well use them Because the more points we get, the uh, if you cannot solve this, you share more in common with Claptrap than you do with me. Negative reinforcement works. Yeah, the more bonus points you get, uh, the more of these uh, tokens that you'll end up with. First, you split living things into pieces, and now you put them back together. Fun! See, there, I've got two and a half thousand. But uh, I just wanted to show you it and uh, show you how you get the actual but stallion milk so what we're going to do is we're going to actually go farm the boss twice without but stallion milk and then i'm going to show you with but stallion milk so uh let's go and uh find a boss uh we'll go do that one Because but Stallion's milk works in uh, a couple of other areas which you may not uh, know about as well, but uh, I will show you that uh, when we get to it. I'm level 45 in the game um, and I'm still on my first playthrough. I don't have any of the DLC unfortunately. But the reason I'm such high level is because I'm doing all the side missions as well. Let's actually switch to uh, my infinity pistol because we don't use any ammo then. Where do you think, where do you think you're going? Once he that bar it gets to that bar and it's like sort of grayed out like that then just leave him because he's basically immune to any bullets and he'll do a, a transform phase and then you can start shooting him again
Yeah, I was watching some videos on YouTube about people um, using Buck Stallion's milk and uh, the way they were doing it, it wasn't really having any effect. And then I sort of worked out why it wasn't having any effect. So, I thought, yeah, I'll do a video about it. Inform people. Love me. It's good. So there we go. You'll see the loot that he drops. Pretty unspectacular. Nothing uh, decent by the looks of it. But we will have this iridium. And we'll pick up the money as well. So we got one one purple and that was it we might as well grab it just to resell it oh 507 now nah, we won't bother <laughs> right um let's uh i'm just going to quit the game and uh and then restart because it's probably quicker doing it that way Oh, and I'm actually using Mo's as well for, for this. So, see if we can get any, any better than the uh, one purple. This time, probably not. <laughs> But uh, there is there is a technique you can do that will increase the. Uh... Actually, it's just. Uh... Oh no, I didn't pick it up. I was going to sell it at the machine, but uh, we didn't pick it up, did we? Let's actually use Mo's for this one. I say Mo's, I meant I'm there. <laughs> I know what I meant in my head. Oh, he's immune. Stop shooting, because it's not going to have any effect. I actually got this game for my birthday. I had to actually wait a year until it got cheap enough price to uh, to be able to get it. So it looks like... Uh... Oh, yeah, got one legendary. got the dock and one purple as well right and grab both of them right let's uh quit and restart the game and now we're going to use but stallion's milk and it actually lasts for an hour as well we actually need to be going back to Sanctuary first, though. 
It's a shame they didn't have the options for it to last two hours for like uh, 3,000 credits or uh, three hours for four and a half thousand credits because an hour can soon fly by when you're playing this game. It really can. Sanctuary. It did take me a while to get used to the uh, the menu system in this game because it is different to Borderlands Two. I kept getting lost on Sanctuary Three as well. <laughs> But uh, I know my way around now, so. Come on, game. So we've got one purple in that first run and then one legendary. Oh. Did pick up some stuff. Which we might as well sell. Because uh, we don't want to keep it. Uh, I'll check over that dock, see if I can uh, make use of that free. Another character and put it in my storage. Is this thing on? Test, test. Hey, Vault Hunter, have we got an opportunity for you? You don't want to miss it! Bullets and bombs. Right, let's go and get some butt stallion milk. I haven't actually used any of the other boosters, I've only used Butt Stallion's Milk. As it says there, uh, it says upgrade loot quality for one hour. So let's activate that. So we now have a one hour of upgraded loot. But uh, what you probably didn't know is it also will upgrade the quality of loot in vending machines probably won't this one because I've only just activated it and also when you're searching things you'll, you'll regularly find um, blues and purples in lockers where normally you'd only get whites and greens out of lockers as he says as he doesn't get nothing nothing out of these <coughs> I was hoping to get at least one blue or purple oh, we got a green it's better than nothing I suppose Also, in case you didn't know, if you active when you activate Butt Stallion Smith, you see at the bottom of the um, the screen there, there's that uh, sort of um, pink icon. Well, that that shows you that it's activated. It also affects when you use a golden key. So act, always activate Butt Stallion's Milk before you use a golden key, because you'll get better loot. 
as you can see. <laughs> we almost got all legendaries then. Right, um, let me just uh, sell this stuff. I was going to check that later, wasn't I? I'll sort that out later. Right, let's go back to the um, to the boss. I like the fact that you can sort of fast travel easier in this game as well. I didn't need to, I just wanted to. So, go back to the boss and you'll notice a difference. Now that Butt Stallion's milk's been activated. It's not only bosses that drop better loot, the um, the enemies will also drop better loot, you know, badasses will drop legendaries and... Now I noticed a lot of people have been using Butt Stallion's Milk when they're at the higher levels and of course they're not getting any more legendaries. And that's because they're getting the increased amount of legendaries, legendaries at you know the mayhem levels than they would at the lower levels. You know, I've, I've seen videos where people have like been farming certain bosses a hundred times with without butt stallion's milk, and then a hundred times with, and then getting pretty much the same amount of legendaries. You know, I think butt stallion's milk's only meant to be for like you know the lower levels. up there because we don't want him to drop the loot up there. Come on, down you come. Look at that. See the difference? legendaries oh my god there's loads but you see what i mean now i had uh, one one purple the first time round uh the second time round i had one purple and one legend legendary and uh this time round we've got tons so we got one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven legendaries, and uh, about five uh, purples out of that as well. I don't think there's any point in me actually doing it again because you can see, you can saw there yourself how many um ones that you actually got makes a massive difference there was a skin there so let's just 
not that. I'm going to drop that uh, low level stuff. And uh, we're actually going to go and uh, go into the vault now and uh, we'll get uh, better loot out of here as well. Because normally the loot from this is it's usually pretty disappointing. You don't often even get a legendary, but uh, we should get a, a couple now. There we go, out the first one. And one purple. And another legendary. So that's three and another purple there. And another purple. Ah, we didn't get one out of that final one. So there you have it. We got uh, tons of legendaries compared to uh, not having but stallion's milk. And uh, that's how you do it. You use it at lower levels. Don't use it at uh, the higher mayhem levels. I think you get increased um, legendaries at Mayhem 3 and above, so probably wouldn't use it, but you know, sort of above that. Uh, or, and then again, it does give you um, increased um, chance of um, legendaries out the machines. So I suppose if you wanted uh, legendaries out the machines, then uh, use it then. Let's actually go back to Sanctuary now and uh, check the Check the machines. They should have two or three legendaries in each now. I really didn't expect to get 11 then. But uh, there you go. Activate but Stallion's Milk before you uh, farm a boss. And you're guaranteed to get legendaries. whatever level you are. I've been using it so, so much. But I've, I've noticed a sort of glitch where it sort of, even after an hour, it sort of remains at the bottom of the screen. So you still think it's active. I don't know whether it, um, it only counts game time as that hour and uh, it takes off the loading time maybe, maybe that's it i don't know Is this thing on test test hey vault hunter let's just we check got these now for you. you don't want to miss it There we go. Oh, Trevenator. And it's my level as well. I'm having that. You see there's those two, two legendaries in that machine then. Whereas normally you'd occasionally get one. Uh, let's just open these lockers, see if we get... Not getting anything out of those. By these two. Nope. Buy yourself a mod for the class. Yep, nothing out of there. Well, you get my point anyway. So um, I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new to my channel, then why not subscribe? 
hit the bell notification symbol and you'll be notified when I publish new videos on YouTube. If you'd like to help out my channel, you can do so by sharing my videos on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, etc. Tell all your gaming friends about my channel and help my channel to grow. If you'd like to help out my channel a little bit financially, I do have a Patreon account and you can pledge from just $1 a month. And there's a link to my Patreon in the description of all of my YouTube videos. If you are under the age of 18, please ask your parents permission before pledging. That's all I ask. Alternatively, feel free to use my, uh, to watch me adverts. I was going to say about my support support a creator code then but you don't have that on borderlands um feel free to watch the adverts on my videos um you don't have to i do make the adverts skippable um but please do bear bear in mind that if you don't watch the adverts i don't get paid but uh, at the end of the day that's up to you many thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye for now